Everybody's deviating today. Dick Rochford here. We're leaving Richmond uh, to the south to get around some weather, which we've identified firstly here. And uh, this weather is now off to the east, which is slightly left of our present course. So we're not going to start that turn as if this might suggest we could. And I know they're taking gas in the tower because they don't know. American they think 50, we're going right to the weather. We have Mark 3 eyeballs looking out the window, and we have radar, which tells us that the weather is indeed 14 degrees to the left. Mark 1554, fruit is busted. It's not producing lightning, so I got no problem with cutting the corner here a little bit. Once we get to the other side of this one, we'll make a decision about how to proceed. Fingers on the yoke, please, Captain. Sir. Thank you. Zero Julia Kilo on the centimeter team at 2,000. We're using three tools here. Zero with the Alpha contact Norfolk approach to 119 point. Primarily, we're using the radar. We have crossing traffic 9 o'clock in uh, 4 miles, 1,000 1, descending a regional jet. Okay, and 119.45, Zero Whiskey Alpha contact. And this is that. Once we get past it, another five miles, we'll begin to make our turn back to the northeast, which is the way we're going. This is the remnant of Hurricane Ida. It's got a lot of moisture with it. It's been rocking and rolling since New Orleans. Anyway, this is the strategy. And in keeping with strategy, let's look at the strategic tool picture is once we get past this guy, which is actually here now, we're going to cut up through put by Patuxent Way and get in front of this one and behind this one. This At is least, uh, on our way to Corrit intersection, flying up to the northeast. Uh, another shower off to the left. There. We can't see it now where IMC. But, um, Dexrad is a useful tool, but uh, be advised, it's it's not for uh, penetrating weather. You, you you can't do it. You you can't use this product to do what it appears we're doing here. The color weather radar, and we're checking these as we go through. This is a 10 mile wide corridor here, uh, which uh, we found between two showers that aren't producing any lightning, so we consider that safe. Like we got, sure uh, you would too. Uh, an area we could probably sneak through. So this here about this is what we're seeing out the window uh, now. So this really is a rock and roll situation <laughs> here. Roger, uh, Off to the right southeast, and, uh, we got climbing clouds. And, uh, the radar shows us be clear, but we'll have some turns to make. So let's take the bearing pointer, turn it on. Let's slew the bearing pointer over to the stuff that we think is weather and then switch to the vertical profile now all the different models of radar in the pa-46 operate the same way buttons are in different places buttons are different sizes but anything that stands proud at the top anything that's asymmetrical top to bottom this being symmetrical top to bottom this being asymmetrical or not symmetrical top to bottom that's water and that's to be avoided. In this case, that's four to the right. We're tracking pretty much on the lover line, but if we flip this back to zero degrees right, you can see whether we're gonna get in that rain or not. And we will, but we got 30 miles to deal with it, which isn't a lifetime or anything, but we know where it is. Now we can corroborate that with the next rat, see if there's anything we wanna do Here's 20, there's 30, so this is over here now. But we're not going any more than five miles in this direction, then we're gonna turn, so we're not gonna do anything about that. Once we make the turn, we'll reevaluate re the radar. The next rat is much more compelling to look at. It looks much more... And November 0, Kilo Bravo, just to keep you a little bit further east of the weather, uh, see direct Gopher at this time, that's Golf Oscar. Foxtrot Echo Romeo join Victor 16. Okay, the direct to Gulf 13 and uh, to join the Victor 16, uh, 630 kilo Bravo. It's 
not much of a change, but there it is. How that looks. And then, of course, the all-important radar. Back to the horizontal mode. That all looks pretty symmetrical from here. November zero kilo Bravo Andrews, altimeter two nine five eight. Two nine five eight four zero kilo Bravo. Freight train twelve forty two. Switch so. frequency one two eight. Another little area of weather there. Off to our right. Freight train flight twelve forty two is up. Uh, Based on where we're going. Freight train twelve forty two. That should not be a factor for us. Five eight. Thank you. Now the real strategy is, um, they got us going over Dover, that's great. Up to uh, QO and into MQS. So when we were planning this, this uh, orange and yellow weather was all uh, northwest of MQS. We're actually wanting to get over to uh, Reading, but that's encumbered. Uh, but we thought if we get within uh, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, distance, two, we can make that work. Five, so we're going to go over DQO. We might elect Wilmington. It looks like this uh, might beat us to Wilmington. But we'll have to see how it goes. In the time, we're right on the edge of this weather. And uh, we got a little bit in front of us. Not in front of us. We got a little bit off to the uh, off to the east. Got an even more off to the west. So it's a challenging day today. The PA46 office, front office, we're enjoying ourselves. They, they can't really help us get to our destination. It's, it's iffy whether or not we're going to actually uh, get to Reading. We're, we filed for MQS, uh, knowing that we're probably not going to get to... Uh, Reading. Approach Chester Devo, County is. You, would it make sense to uh, deviate oh, no. south uh, to get around the weather? Uh, Behind right three, three quarter in light rain. So it's probably not a good strategy. Yeah, it's also yeah. right in the middle of the. Yeah, number three uh, kilo whiskey, uh, primitive. We need. We are going to need to come southwest here, probably about uh, five miles or so. Is that okay? Uh, expect vectors to the weather. If you'd like to deviate on your own, just let me know. Thanks, and I'll appreciate the pictures. This weather is uh, remnant of, is the remnant of... Uh, oh, we have the traffic inside for uh, zero kilo Bravo. Three kilo whiskey traffic has you inside. Thank you, yeah, we just saw passes uh, going pretty fast. Everybody's asking for deviations, everybody's getting a lot of help from ATC. They've really been good, way better than they used to be in the past. Like they, you know, they got better radars now and they're a little more confident. Southwest 4042, contact approach. Somehow, the accidents still occur. I, uh, I'm appalled at General Aviation's ability uh, or inability to understand what NEXRAD can and can't do for them. I know that's not as impressive to look at, but it's a very, uh, Compelling to me, very comforting. Southwest 277, descend, maintain 9,000. As we make our way around uh, from the east, right, we're, we've bailed again on our destination of uh, Mike Quebec Sierra. We're uh, we're now on our way to Wilmington. MQS is a magenta flag and is surrounded by strong showers. Our original Reading is also surrounded by strong showers. Uh, we're not willing to uh, try to do that with, uh, with, the, with the equipment we have. But as we get closer to Wilmington, maybe we'll, we'll find a way. It's looking you know, kind of stratus out there in front of us. And uh, that MQS flag is still uh, magenta. Reading, the flag is yellow, so it's a little better, but it's uh, uh, limited approaches because of the mountains nearby. So that's not as strong. Um, 
Own choice. Play for a training flight. I recommend we up at Wilmington. Consider fuel and other options. And uh, number six three zero Kilo Bravo. Contact Philadelphia Approach one one nine point seven five. Over Philadelphia Approach one one nine point seven five. Zero Kilo Bravo. Ground for it. Fly safely. Left turn heading three zero zero. We're just going to keep you away from the, the heavy stuff. Okay, sir.